So I've been describing in a number of ways, this pathway of coming into the body and in that way coming to open fully to spirit. And I wanna say again that we often don't move from trance, from being in that mental control tower and planning and worrying straight into resting in that sacred presence. That, that's not so often how it goes. There are layers of unlived life and they include fear and hurt that we've been running from and passions and also just the complete expression of aliveness. We've been unwilling to feel it. And sometimes it's really difficult, but the motivation, because you might be wondering, well, why would I really want to sit down into uncomfortableness? And I know that one. I mean, I've many, many mornings as I'm meditating and I start coming into my body, what I'm coming into feels incredibly unpleasant. <laughs> you know, it really is not where I feel like I want to be. And yet I've had so many experiences of staying, learning to stay, and discovering in staying that that intensifies presence and, and opens up presence in a way that not only is there room for the unpleasantness, I'm really actually resting in a much more spacious and tender and free space. So the idea is rather that, that we just get the knack of including what's here in presence. And then we get to be here. We get to be here for the sweetness of spring and for the reality that it's all changing and for how precious it all is for the ants that are precious and the trees and the next being that we spend time with. All of that because we kind of learned how to arrive in presence and stay. And then we discover in that, that silence, that, that formless loving awareness that's our, our spiritual source. So I'd like to practice a little. I'd like to invite you uh, into a practice of entering the wilderness. This won't be long, just to get a, another taste. Wherever you are, finding a posture that is comfortable, also that allows you to be wakeful. Become aware of your body sitting here, breathing. And sense gravity, sense the hug of gravity, and kind of belonging to the earth. Sense the space around you. Now feeling the breath more intimately. And as you breathe, begin to feel your hands, soften your hands. And then soften a bit more so you can feel the sensations, the tingling, the vibrating. And still feeling your hands, you might also feel your feet. Perhaps the pressure, the warmth, contact with the floor. And feel the interior of the feet. Again, noticing, tingling, vibrating, aliveness. Extending that awareness, you can feel the legs, the length, the volume, the weight and the arms. Still breathing, aware of the breath. And let this next breath be received in a softening belly. So you're breathing deep into the torso, this breath and this one. And again, soft belly.
Feel the heart from the inside out, still breathing. Aware of the heart, the hands, the feet, the belly. Opening to feel the whole interior of the body. And you might sense where you can let go a little bit if there's any tightness or tension. Softening. And then feeling this whole body at once as a field of changing sensation. Warmth, coolness, tightness, flow. Just let it all happen. Not opposing or controlling anything. Sense this whole realm and field of changing sensations and the background of formless living presence, that which is aware. From the Radiant Sutra, Experience the substance of the body and the world as made up of vibrating particles. And these particles made up of even finer energy particles. Drifting more deeply, feel into each particle as it condenses from infinity and dissolves back into it continuously. Noticing this, breathe easily with infinity dancing everywhere. Thank you, friends. Thank you for being willing to explore the wilderness. I wish you all blessings as you continue to sense into the aliveness and awareness that's here. Be well.